What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Howdy Ranch RV in Mathis, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this really cool Keystone Sprinter travel trailer. This is the 330 KBS, and it is probably one of my favorite empty nester style travel trailer floor plans on the market. So hold tight, I think you're gonna like this one. So right off the bat, you can probably tell this has a front windshield with a nice accent light above. Let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,500 pounds, and it has a cargo capacity of 2,380 pounds. Rides on 15 inch E-rated tires. You can see that all of your connections are up here as well, which is a little different from most, but once we get inside, you'll see why they spaced things on the outside perhaps the way that they did. This has a very unique floor plan, so it's one you're probably gonna wanna see the inside of. Now, this specific unit is a relatively heavy, relatively long, and relatively tall travel trailer. I would only recommend towing something like this with a properly equipped three quarter ton truck or even even a one ton single rear wheel truck. If you wanna go crazy and go all out, you could get a dually, but this is, again, relatively long, relatively heavy. This has all cable driven slides, it does not have frameless windows, but it has a really nice look to it, especially the front cap on these sprinters. I think they look really good. Underneath, it rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame. You can see it has electric stabilizers up front and in the back. This has the Moride step above steps. Coming over here, something that is kind of different on travel trailers is the fact that this does have the road armor suspension. A lot of travel trailers do not have any type of suspension. This one does have the LCI road armor suspension. Same suspension we put on our fifth wheel. It's a very, very good system. On the side here, you have a spray port, so you can hook a hose to the side and have water on this side. It has a 20-foot awning on it as well. This unit's gonna be about 34 and a half to 35 feet long, so it is a relatively long travel trailer. This is gonna be storage right here on the inside. It does have incandescent lights. I do wish that it had LED lighting. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. You got more storage right here, which is gonna be under the bed. Back of your water heater, back of your furnace. There's your sewer connection. And this is the back of your refrigerator. Interesting setup. Coming around this side, again, here are your connections. Let's take a look inside of this really interesting floor plan. Again, this is the 330 KBS. Stepping inside, you can probably tell what's unique about this. Very different floor plan than most travel trailers. This is a front living room floor plan. Typically in travel trailers, they put the bedroom up front. Has a slide up here for the theater seating. And it also has a love seat back here. It's not quite the width of a sofa, but it is a love seat and it's relatively wide. You have nice end tables here as well. I really like the wallpaper treatment they used here. Even though it is wallpaper, it still looks good. Nice front window. Looking over here, you have your fireplace. You kind of would think that they would have put storage on the sides here instead of just notching it back. Nice large TV. But check out the kitchen and how the kitchen integrates into this living space with these bar stools. Very different, very unique. Coming over here, they've positioned the sink in front of the bar stool area. And again, that's very different. I've never seen this set up before. Very, very different. Check out the refrigerators. Very interesting. So they installed two of them side by side. So you have a ton of freezer and refrigerator space only because they put two full refrigerator freezers in this unit. Again, something that really makes this unit different than many other travel trailers I've seen. It's a very cool floor plan actually, and it feels very warm inside. It's a little bit different and it's a little strange when you first start looking at it. But overall though, it's a very interesting and unique floor plan that's still very inviting. Has an air conditioning system up here that is fully ducted. Tons of drawers and cabinets right here. Lots of space in here as well too. This is a very, very deep cabinet, and you can kind of tell from this wall right here just how deep that is. Stepping into the bathroom, check this out. So 
half of this RV is focused on the living room and kitchen, and the other half is focused on the bedroom and bathroom, which again is very different from traditional travel trailers. Typically, maybe a third of a travel trailer's length is dedicated to a bathroom and a bedroom, and the vast majority of it is the living space or the kitchen. This one, on the other hand, gives you this enormous, enormous bathroom. I mean, check it out. This is a huge bathroom, complete with dual stainless steel vanities. Very nice. Lots of space in here. You have these pocket style doors which close and then you have a regular door right there. So if you want privacy in the bathroom, you have a huge bathroom. King size bed in its own slide, plus lots of room on each side. This is probably one of the most spacious bedroom areas I've seen in a travel trailer. If this was out, you would see that that is a closet for a washer and dryer. Plus lots of wardrobe space back here. This is just a very, very large bedroom and they've designed it well. This is awesome. So underneath here is that back hatch that you saw. So that's actually storage underneath there. This bed kind of tilts up and there's storage underneath the bed as well. Has very tall slide heights to it. And the ceiling in here is reasonably tall. It's about six foot seven, six foot eight. So this will actually accommodate taller folks. Overall though, this is a really cool floor plan and it's a lot different than others. That's kind of the key. That's why I wanted to show you this because it's not your traditional floor plan. It's not what you typically see. And I think some people really like being a little bit unique when it comes to the type of RV that they want. They don't want to have the same cookie cutter RV floor plan that everyone else has. And this is definitely different. This in my opinion is a great couples RV. It's just really set up to be perfect for a couple that wants to get out, explore, has a adequate truck to pull it with, and wants a big bathroom, big bedroom, really useful kitchen, one that they can sit across from each other and talk in the morning. If you work in a home-based business maybe and you need to have a space for a workstation or a computer, you have that here. Shoot, you could even put a computer over there if you wanna set a laptop up or something over there and have room plus you have your theater seating. It really has all of the right pieces to fit what I think most couples would want with a floor plan. It is missing a few. I do wish that perhaps instead of the dual refrigerators, they could have put one refrigerator, then opened up some countertop space there, put more room on each side of the stove, and then put some storage here on the sides of the fireplace area. Maybe put a full width couch here and smaller little end tables. I think. You know, there's some things that if I had to pick it apart, those are things I might add. Overall, though, I really think that this is a cool floor plan. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, though. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this floor plan. Is this something you think that you and your significant other could spend a lot of time in? If it is, I'd love to hear about it. Guys, the price on this one as well is $41,488. MSRP is 51,146, so they're taking roughly 10 grand off. You might be able to talk them lower. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.